right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, sambo. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, this young man is a really accomplished submission specialist, and sometimes fighters get offended when you call them a specialist, but most people know what he's trying to do in there, and to this point, no one's really been able to stop him. John, he will try to pull guard. He yeah. pulls guard anymore in the UFC at this point, but he understands that for him to be successful, the fight has to be in the grappling, in the jujitsu. If he's able to extend these jujitsu exchanges, he is the guy that is generally going to win. He understands position. He understands going from point A to point B. He always is the one controlling the underhook. Always has the frame. Just a knowledge of jujitsu that not many people can match. And you can be sure as he makes this walk tonight, he's thinking about just how quickly he can get this fight to the ground and utilize those aforementioned high-level submission skills. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, Assassin. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go. The weight and the height gives way to the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter taking on arguably the biggest submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up with him. Big kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, defense into offense, shot blocked, counter hook is good. Look at him chopping the wood, chop the wood with his leg kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. It almost looked like he went limp there for a second. Just over three minutes to go. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, and he caught the kick. Big body kick, big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Really timing his shots nicely, good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Over and over, he's landing some big body kicks. Real quick leg kick. Nice one-two there. Big punch land. Just missing on the high kick there. Oh, nice. Straight 
right. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Big head kick. Second round is getting right, underway. Right. Round one, right. not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Checks that leg kick. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combination... Lands, that's as good a punch as he's thrown all night. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that lands perfect. And that one landed perfectly. Oh, big punch lands. Trying to go to the body now with the kick down one. Oh! He's out! One! One! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, we'll will take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 25 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by Knockout Assassin. Oh, there he is. You ready? You ready? All right, so the fight is underway. We'll see how it plays out. It's a pick and fight at Portland, Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers this year. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded. They have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key matchup. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Both fighters throwing heat now. Great punch landed with so much power. <laughs> Misses with the left hook. Oh, big head could land. Oh, and there's the dunk. All right, so a near perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say if at first you don't succeed. Try, try again, was able to get him down. There. Persistence pays. And that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns. He tried to mix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? Lands the ground and pound strike. Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. Unable to connect there. Shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Big knee there to the chest. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is maybe John. John, there's a, there's a weight difference. I don't know if you know jujitsu much. You miss a lot of your classes. If I'm gonna do this to anybody, it's Andy. Nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Oh, 
really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Pop. That is it! That's it! Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. All right, the official decision is inside the octagon. That's where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 58 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout. Cut so the celebration is... Other's radars for quite some time tonight. It shall be done. Both guys well rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper and also in every performance we have seen them put on. These guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Oh, nice punch there by Sagan. Lands a big right hand early. and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. That's a big strike right there. Got clip with the right hand. Back and forth we go. Just misses with the left hook. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. This is effective a straight punch as we've seen all night. Huge straight punch land, and he's got to work very bad. Gets right back up. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. So a seminal moment for him presented inside the octagon once more. Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at two minutes, 36 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by Knockout, the Warrior. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The cell, Dre Arlovsky. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key matchup. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure, so doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight, and if you're trying to slow your opponent down, you should accomplish it. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You 
start to affect the hand. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks, and you start to see the damage, not only in the leg, but in the facial expression right in the point. for Ty to move up. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's in some. Single collar tie now. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, don't you? You love that jab. Ooh, what a punch. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Going to the leg kick. Nice job by Tuivasa. Awesome. Lost his lower jaw, now starting to show signs of swelling. Gets up again here, but hurting. That shot blocked by Ty Tuivasa. Just a split there. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Tuivasa. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Let's get that cage control. Let's go. Cut 15 off. seconds. Oh, single collar tie here. That horn right, sounds right, means we have reached the end of round one. Second round here. Great punch. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combo. Oh! Just misses with that big right hand. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. are unofficial, but 61 total strikes have now landed for Ty Tuivas. Well, misses on 60% of the strikes, landing with just 40. Oh, what a connection right up the gut. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. I don't know where he is. I don't feel bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Back to the feet. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found oh, oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Arlovsky's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Just misses with the right. Oh, 
big left hook coming, it's blocked. Punch land. All oh, collar tie, and they separate. Final seconds. Wow! Look at that. It's over. It's over. Wow! That was nasty. What a fight! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short life for his opponent. But that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliano calls a stop to this contest at four minutes, 56 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Tom Bambin! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him. fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down. The there are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we stream of as MMA fans. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Goes right back to that left kick and lands. Oh, really? Oh! That was Big strikes. Oh! Oh! Back to the feet. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! Oh! Well, he looked like it did stop him a little bit. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Strikes have landed for Maheta. And they separate. Big kick land. Ooh, look. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh! Woo! What a performance! A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. All right, let's get it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 33 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Diago Mahenka Well, he's smiling ear to ear and Lear Latifi. Are you ready? been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well rounded. You just don't know, right? Oh! Huge right hand! That is it! Yeah, we're just getting going, and now the fight's over.
jumper, but excellent striking technique to land that shot and ultimately finish the fight here in the first. You've heard us say it before, but sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a bigger effect. It certainly did here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched Glow. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight, but both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. All right, with that, the official decision is in. We go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop to this contest at 20 seconds of the very first round. Playing the winner by knockout, Curtis Mason. And there is the man of the moment. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, so here we go with round one, and fear is not a factor for him. He feels so confident in all of his skills. He doesn't care what... John, John, it doesn't matter. John, it doesn't matter. It does not matter how well you see yourself as a grappler. This guy's different, different level. Yeah. This guy's next level. You want to avoid this at all costs. Maintain distance. Do not go and grab this guy. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Just exhausting watching something. Oh, this is a point still stand. I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gotta be over very soon. Oh, that's a good strike there by Mike. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Back to the feet. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effectively. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head, potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head, he's very accurate, he's very fast, and he has a real confidence every time he throws his punches. All right, this position now, what we call the north-south. If you're the bottom fighter, what are you trying to do to get out of harm's way? Man, it's tough on the bottom. It's very tough because everything hurts, right? right. It doesn't matter that they're not completely driving the shoulder in. It's just everything hurts. So you wait for your opponent to go to his next action. And when he does, you go and attack the hands. You get to your knees and you attack the hands with both hands and try to peel the lock so you can get to your feet. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches. I mean, another thing now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Under a minute to go. And they both stand up. Oh, can't put any weight on it. Left hand punching the clinch. On oh, he lands another takedown here. Just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot and clean entries. I think he's got to like what he's seeing. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Oh, there you go. Yeah, right there. He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up the triangle. 
him. He's going to try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. Trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style Block. gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fight. Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Now goes in and secures the takedown. up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Maya gets caught with that punch. His chin is... It's the same story, just told on a different day. Takedown after takedown after takedown. Now it's his mouth. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a control posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh! Oh, boy! Oh, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 4 minutes, 31 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by knockout. Ready. All right, folks, here we go with round one. This is not the Eddie Bravo Invitational. This is the UFC and two of the more decorated Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belts we have in this or any division. Yes, in any division. We've never seen guys that can really incorporate the Jiu-Jitsu into fighting as we've seen this two do. But who's going to make a mistake? Who's going to leave an arm out there to get grabbed? Who's going to leave their neck out? Let's see when you put two great jiu-jitsu players together who can get their hand raised in the octagon. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. goes into the books as a first round win by knockout near perfect execution the technique was absolutely gorgeous and again when you catch a guy early maybe you're getting him cold before he's had a chance to work up a sweat or even get into the fight a little bit those strikes can have a bigger effect and it certainly did here tonight Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 1 minute, 14 seconds of the very first round. Going the winner by no!
All right, he engages in a single collar tie. Huge block there. And they separate. Oh, big knee! Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way. The referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. When his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the count. Who has got the tie clinch now? Ooh, big knee. Knee to the body. Oh, beautiful knee right up the gut from Johnny Walker Blue. Didn't take him long to resonate with UFC fans, and as he continues to evolve and get bigger fights, a lot of people really do believe that the ceiling for Johnny Walker is UFC light heavyweight champ. All 25 total strikes have already landed for Johnny Walker. Big punch landed through the middle. Just a oh, huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. UFC light heavyweight champion. This has long been the UFC's glamour division, and man, did he get it done with style points here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop in this contest at three minutes, six seconds of the very first round. Playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a weakness on either side when you break down. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Right, so there's the early takedown. He told us on Thursday he didn't necessarily see a path to victory. If he couldn't get takedowns, that is certainly a good sign. Right away he got the takedown. I don't believe they could have imagined that it would work so well so early. Great job. Takedown defense holds up. Beautiful punch. And now he's got that tight clinch. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. And I, hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top of the I mean, he's cutting out the side with these beautiful leg shots. Misses with the right hand. The soldier of God is on repeat. Wash and rinse over and over again. It's takedown after takedown. Just misses there with the left. And both guys really. DC, he is hurt. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh! Big leg kick lands. Punch over the top. Goes in and secures the takedown. Bottom fighter.
there trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing clinch after clinch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Quick entry here. Nice single leg entry, rotates ahead outside to a high ball. Oh. He flips him over the top. What a huge takedown. I mean, do I survive that, or have no, I read my not, last round? Absolutely not. You don't survive that. It's over. It's over, John. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh oh. Throwing up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's going to get stuck and he will have to submit. All right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and got to be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see. Listen, listen. Well, if you like wrestling and you like takedowns, I guess that's the round for you. He really had his way with his opponent. Yeah, he was able to secure many takedowns. Switching up the techniques, constantly changing his angle, never allowing his opponent to get a beat on what type of finish he was trying to go to. That was good, man. Nice strike. You wonder if the offensive fighters are going to start to get frustrated here. Most skipped on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best put to fight. Beautiful takedown lane. Both fighters get up now. A little single collar tie there. Nice loop of punch. Wow, actually got the takedown. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Just misses with the straight left hand. It's such a fast leg kick. It's a nice back and forth action here. Ooh, Superman punch lands. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take this to change the fight. Another takedown land. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Romero's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and... Finish could come here at any time. Oh, yes, it is a lost start in mixed fight. In the placement, it was placed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent. Oh, he another takedown here, just doing a nice job, not telegraphing his shot, clean entries. The Olympian's got to like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up. Once he gets to his legs, he's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, great combination. Oh, that's a solid DC. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly. And it hurt his opponent very bad. Goes to the body there. Mission accomplished. It does not get much better than that. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Here we go, third round of this championship fight.
attacking the body now. That shot blocked him right under the elbow, right on the body. It was a perfectly placed shot, and you see his opponent reacting violently from that one. Oh, he lands another shot. sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. inside the octagon Bruce Buffer has the official decision ladies and gentlemen referee Eve Levin has called a stop to this contest at 42 seconds in the third round declaring the winner by knockout and